Hi, and welcome to Tanya's Beauty Box. I am Tanya, and we're going to play in makeup. So, I have on my lips from LYS, the um, Big Love Glossy Lip Treatment Oil. That's just to keep everything nice and smooth. Um, let's get started here. I don't really have anything much to talk about. Except that um, it's a Sunday, and I just got through watching Michelle and the uh, Age Graceful and Simply You Makeup do a live stream. They had to do the 20-minute makeup challenge, and that inspired me to want to do my makeup. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to put on is our e.l.f. And I believe I showed that to that Speak Love. I'm moving it. I pointed that at my mirror, not at the camera. I got a mirror over here, and I don't know why I thought that was the camera. Losing it. We're going to use the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer with the niacinamide. I don't have my um, brows done. I'm going to do that either on camera or off. haven't decided yet. That's nice and sticky. I'm going to put on from the YC collection. Something I got in my, um, not my glam bag. Was it in my glam bag? I can't remember if it was a glam bag or the new boxy by Ipsy. Uh, I heard somebody the other day call it an Ipsy charm. <laughs> I might start calling it Ipsy charm. Uh, but this, um, eyeshadow primer that I've been using lately. I'm going to put that on. Oh, that's a bit much. I spewed out a little too much on that side. So I'll just rub it in and transfer some to the opposite eye as well. I'm really excited because I'm going to be using some of the brushes that I uh, won in the giveaway the other day. I did a video for that. And um, I'm excited to use those brushes. The first thing I want to put on is what? I think I'm going to use my Danessa Myricks. This is the blurry, the blurring balm powder for face and eyes. I should have used this on my eyes. I have it in shade 9. We have the Upsolite. I'm going to be using a Scott Barnes number 68. I'm just work it in there and apply it to the face. I feed some stray cats. I think I uh, mentioned that to you guys a while ago. And they've gotten to the place where they're comfortable coming in the house. So they were in here, had a door somewhat propped open so they don't feel trapped. Like once they get in here, they can't get out. So the door is propped open and they came in and they laid down on the mats. And they've been taking a nap. <laughs> so that was kind of cool. They just woke up and decided to leave. I guess when I started talking, I interrupted them. But yeah. I just want to make sure I get this 
blend it in real good. Definitely into the hairline. Because I hate watching the um, video back and notice that I didn't get into my hairline really good. And I didn't really blend the side of the face too good. This is number nine. I have normal to dry skin. Right now I'm in more of a normal phase. And you can see it's contrast between the color and my skin. Um, some of that is cast from the um, eyeshadow primer. But one came back and sitting is laying back down on the little mat there. Um, now I'm going to go into my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind and Hazelnut. Just to brighten under the eye and get rid of those dark circles. And so that my, well, not my foundation, but my, um, Eyeshadow does not compete with it. I'm going to use this brush that I bought off of Amazon. It doesn't have a name, but it does have an angled, almost rounded, flat, rounded and flat. I don't know how to explain it, but it's an angled foundation brush. This is the smaller one, so I'm going to use this for the concealer. To bring to um, blend that out under the eye. And of course, you don't want to bring it up into the hairline at an angle. It's a little brush guard back on. I like because I like, I think I got a set of four for less than ten dollars and it came with brush guards, so that's always great. Next, we're going to do the true, true uh, match from L'Oreal in C6 as my under eye powder. Take that up into the hairline as well at that angle. Okay. Next, I'm going to take this big Japanese fleshy, fluffy brush and I'm just try to blend out a little bit. Then we're going to go into the Cat KVD Beauty Locket Powder Foundation in Deep 205. And we're going to just go into this very lightly. Tap off. And we're going to buff around the face. Get a little bit more of that powder. Tap off. Buff around the forehead. Down the nose. Side of the face. If you have that much of a contrast, let me know in the, con in the comments. You think that's too much of a contrast. I'm going to do something I don't ever really do. And that is use a bronzer. I'm using that bronzer because I got it in friend mail. And we're going to use this Heavenly Skin um, Bye Bye Force Powder Brush. With the Mario Soft Sculpt Bronzer in Deep.
I'm going to see if this actually bronzes me up or not. I would use it. It's got a red undertone. So we're going to see what it does. Where that is. Because I don't ever use bronzer. Put that on the under the chin. Blend down. I think I see it. I usually don't see it. So I think I see it. <laughs> That's cool. Now I want to focus on. Blush. Now, for the blush, I am taking a chance because I'm going to be using Mally's Get Cheeky All Over Cheek Glow in Mad About Mauve. And this came in the Ipsy Glam Bag or the Boxy by Ipsy or what we're going to start calling it, Ipsy Charm. I think it's Mishi, Mishi Beauty that I heard that. Um, phrase coined on um I don't know but this is a, a um highlighter and blush it has a mirror and this is a blush shade I'm gonna take the blush brush this is just an angled loose luxe brush I'll wipe some of the and see if I have any excess on it. We're gonna go into this powder. I mean to this, these are creams. Do you see anything? Is it pulling it off? I think I see something. And nothing else is shiny. So, not a big fan of the color because my skin tone is so deep, you don't really see the, the um, blush. And it seems to be a little greasy. Okay, and I'm not going to use the, the um, highlighter because I'm not a highlighter chick. Next, let's get into what we love the most. That is from LIS. This is one of their two new um, eyeshadow palettes. I used it once, maybe three months ago. I did like a short on it. They have, this one is called Empowered. These are the shades. So I did like a little show and tell. And then I did a short where I already done my face and go on to work and um, had already um, just did like a little short showing the look. But today we're going to do it on camera. I'm going to go into, the first thing I'm going to do is go into this shade here. They do have names. I'm going to assume, I'm not going to assume anything because it's funny looking. But the one thing I can tell you is that these um, shadows are powdery. At least that's what I remember. That they kicked up some powder as I was trying to get my brush into these weird shaped pans, these triangular shaped pans. So 
So while I like that they keep the um, packaging the same across the board, I wonder if they could have made different, made some kind of way. I don't know how they could have done that. So maybe they did it the best way they knew how to keep the triangular shape. And we're just going to put this into our transition area. I think with that blush, it's not basically a standalone. I think you can use, should use it with a powder brush on top. That's just what I'm getting from using it now. It's still sticky. I made the mistake of um, touching it. And it still looks glowy. It looks emollient, like I have on a highlighter. And maybe it does have some highlighting properties to it. But yeah, I think I would put a similar toned powder blush on top of it just to tamp down that shininess and the emollients. Now I'm going to go into this brush was an um, MOTD, MOTD number three. Let me match my shirt. Who knows? I'm really trying to get into this hourglass number three brush. I got this in friend mail and I'm really trying to get into it because yeah when the person that sent it to me when they use it their shadows go on so great so it's either user it either works better depending upon the user or the fact that this is just a great brush because if I can't get it on like as smooth as she can and she's just a diva with hers because I'm just like how do I wear this thing we're going to go into this shimmery shade here. I'm trying to show you without blinding you the situation. This shade here. This might not be giving it a fair chance because this is kind of flaky. But let's see what we get here. Oh, I think. Not to take anything away from her, but I think this is just a great freaking brush. The color just went on effortlessly. I'm going to pull that over. Go back into that original brush with no additional product. I'm not one for inner corner highlights. I think they don't go, they don't look very good on me. I'll get some more of that shade. Problem with this is that this, the shade that's next to it is a matte. And this is very sparkly. So as I dig into the, apply my brush into the actual pan, it's kicking up some of the shimmer into my matte shade. Now when I blow it, it does seem to blow away from the matte shade. But that's just something to pay attention to. And this is not a cheap brush. And she sent it to me. <laughs> Directly from Sephora. So I'm very appreciative of that. This is definitely out of my um, price bracket. We're going to go back into that brush and remove some of that gold by gently blending it out with our transition shade. Now, that didn't seem to, I need to add some more product because that seemed to Make the product. Blend in a little bit more. Next, we're going to take 
Let's see, I just got this brush from winning um, a um, giveaway. This is uh, the Half Cake 808 Blender. We're going to put that into this like plummy brown or brownie plum. Yeah, that's kicking up a lot of powder. I'm going to put this on the outer corner. I can't even remember if this is the, the um, look that I made originally when I used this or not. But I seem to be going into... I picked this one because this was a safe palette. The other, and it was like... $10 cheaper than the other... I think the other palette is called Unapologetic. So I think this was the cheaper of the two palettes. The other one had like a green and a um, hot magenta in it. And I was just trying to say to myself how often would I wear those colors. So I wanted to, especially by it being a new release, wanted to get something that I might get a little bit more use out of. I find myself gravitating toward more everyday colors as I get older. So I pick the safe one. Now that plummy brown, this color here is really um powdery. Getting a lot of kick up in the pan. But it is applying very well. And I also want to use this palette because I noticed that some people in their glam bat in their boxing charm powered by Ipsy, some people did receive this particular palette. So just in case they wanted to get an idea of what it looks like on the eye. I'll take this blender brush again just to blend this out. No harsh edges. Just to see if they might want to get an idea of how these actually perform. Let's do some swatches. First three. That very first one is going into my skin. And that is the transition. And we're going to go on this side now with the pink. Very soft, but kick up. Definitely has kick up in the pan. Okay. So those are all the colors in that particular sex step. Yeah, it's still shiny, right? That um blush. But you can see it, so that's good. Now I'm gonna take off well not yet. I'm gonna line my eyes with the Sephora. And I got this two VIB cells ago. Um the Sephora retractable eyeliner waterproof in black. It's so creamy. It just glides. And it's so creamy. Beautiful. And the mascara I'm going to use is my Colossal Curl Bounce by Maybelline. And I do prefer prefer the bristle brushes. This has a curl bristle curled brush. That's neither here nor I don't prefer that over the regular. It's just the way that this one came. I go on top of the lashes and comb through.
Not that hard caked up mascara on the side there. I don't want to end up with that in my eye. I'm trying to get rid of that. I should have brought out my um, lash primer. This is doing a good job though. A curl, keep my lashes curled. Let's do the other side. Yeah. So Mother's Day is next week. And I plan to have my niece. But my sons keep asking me what I want for Mother's Day. I have no idea of what to ask for. I don't really want anything. I'm just happy they're, that they're good and they're here with me. I get to see them every day. Well, mostly every day. Now I'm going now I'm going to wipe off the lip oil. Mm. I inadvertently wiped off. Oh wee. My face. <laughs> this is not good. We'll just fix that. I got that off. I'm gonna use this, um, not that, but this. I got this in a glam bag. So they still call those glam bags. So I got this in a glam bag. This is the Shea Spy Shan Gel Eyeliner in the color Taro. But the color it's not something that would show up on my lash line very well. I'm going to use it as a lip liner. I'm going to use it as a lip liner. Nice plum burgundy color. I'm going to use that with Juvia's Place Miro or Miro. I'm not sure what collection this came out with. It's just a lot of product on the um, on a little lip uh, applicator. Smells like birthday cake. Got that on. Now we're going to attempt these brows with my Ruby Kisses from the drugstore, one from the beauty supply store, off of Amazon, by way of Amazon, Ruby Kisses in brown black. Whew, okay. Gonna shape them and fill it in real quick so they might not be perfect. Keep your eyes open for the extraordinary amount of time makes them start to do what? Water. So I'm trying not to I'm trying to make sure I blink 
but I want to keep my eyes open so that I can actually see what it is I'm doing here. Where's the little, my eyes are getting watery. Going through with the spoolie to shape. Do the opposite side. I usually do this with my glasses on so I can see better. Yeah, this particular blush is not drying down. So I would say that it's best used with a powder blush on top. Where's the blush blush? Need a flush mask. And this is the completed look. Hope you like it. I do. I can see the blush. I just wish it was set down, but it's not. And then I put on some more, right? But I didn't put on any more product. I just used what was on the brush to bring out more of that color on my actual cheek. Because it's kind of a light dusty pink. It's a mauve ball. Let's do something I never do. Let's, excuse me, line my um, lower lash line. I used to do this all the time when I was younger and typically with a colored liner. <laughs> but there we go. And these are the colors of the um these six colors. That's the one right there. The colors of the LYS Empowered Palette, if you're interested. I got mine from QVC. I'm not sure if they're still available or not. And this is a eyeliner that I'll use as a lip liner because it's not going to show up on my skin tone. Thank you so much for taking time out to view this video. I really appreciate it. Um, stay whimsical. Let your inner whimsy shine. And I'll see you in another video very soon. Bye-bye. Oops.